Good afternoon, Mid-South and Memphis area. This is meteorologist Eric Proceus with MemphisWeather.net. I'm recording this about 1.15 on Saturday afternoon, March 27th, and here we go again. Uh, one more round of potential severe weather today. wanted to bring you the latest here, so we're going to dive right into it. Give you an overview first. Um, it is humid and muggy out. We've got more instability uh, right now early this afternoon than I think we might have had right here directly in the Memphis area with the last couple of events. So we are looking at scattered thunderstorms that will be developing in uh, an unstable air mass. We've got a warm front that is draped right along I-40 and very slowly shifting to the north. Uh, and those scattered th thunderstorms will be forming in that unstable air mass this afternoon, probably within the next couple of hours. We've got a few showers out there right now, but uh, they will be scattered for several hours from mid-afternoon into the early evening. And then uh, we'll get a little bit stronger impulse from the west, upper level impulse moving in and and a cold front that will be approaching as well, and I think that is going to cause us to get more organized activity as we go into the evening hours. Our highest probability of severe thunderstorms will be with uh, that batch. We cannot rule out a few uh, severe storms, though, this afternoon as well. We're looking at uh, most of our severe weather threat to be uh, diminishing by the time we get to midnight. Might still get a little bit of rain after that. The primary threats for this afternoon are going to be strong wind and uh, some potentially large hail. Uh, we could also see a possible tornado this afternoon uh, as we start to get a little bit more shear in the environment. Um, and we definitely will see some areas of heavy rain. A lot of rain has already fallen across the area. Flash flood watch is out. Um, and any more rain is going to exacerbate those uh, flooding issues that, uh, that we might have. Going into this evening, uh, as, especially as the system organizes a little bit more, we may switch to a little bit more of a damaging wind threat. Uh, but uh, we'll be on kind of the north edge of a line that's forming, and so possible tornadoes cannot be ruled out either. We definitely are a little concerned about that risk um, and some large hail as well. And then we definitely will have more precipitation as well. It will be heavy um, and uh, training storms, so higher risk of flash flooding. Wouldn't be surprised if we got a couple more inches of rain before this all ended. So let's take a look at the HER model from late this morning. A high resolution model gives us hourly data and this is running out from 2 p.m. to 2 a.m. Memphis there in the uh, kind of the square brackets. Um, and you see that as it starts off, we've got kind of some scattered activity around the area and that uh, persists that way until we get into the evening hours. And then you see as it organizes into a line um, that will become when we get uh, when a more damaging wind threat will occur. But as it's doing that, we're kind of on the north edge of that line. And so I expect that we'll see some scattered supercells around the area um, and that is going to be what uh, potentially could bring us our tornado risk particularly during the evening hours. Uh, as an overview for today, um, we are looking at an enhanced risk of severe weather. That's level three out of five. Uh, and that enhanced risk exists from uh, basically right along the I-40 corridor and just south of that. So from Little Rock to Memphis and up to Nashville and points east from there. Um, we are looking at uh, potential for tornadoes, high winds and large hail. The tornado uh, risk probability is 10%. Um, and that means that uh, within 25 miles of you, there is a 10% chance that a tornado could occur. High wind and large hail, there is a 30% risk factor for or probability. And for flash flooding, it's 20 to 50% in a moderate area of potential flash flooding as well. So we need to be prepared for this to, uh, to be uh, occurring over the next several hours. Have your safe place ready just in case you need it. Um, have multiple ways of getting severe weather information. And uh, by the time that you are listening to this, it is quite possible that a tornado watch will already be posted. Uh, we are expecting one of those early this afternoon. Here are the severe weather probabilities uh, that I just told you about. And just to give you some uh, uh, relative location to those uh, relative to other places around um, in the tornado risk area in the upper right, Memphis at the star, uh, a fairly large area of 10% tornado risk, 30% uh, risk in the lower left for hail, and a 30% risk for damaging wind in the lower right. Each one of those you'll note also has a black hatching area over all three and includes the Memphis area. And that indicates we could see some significant uh, storms that would have the potential for a stronger tornado larger hail or uh, or high wind so uh, this is not um, not just a passing threat we definitely need to take this one seriously um, and hope that we come out like we did the previous uh, two but uh, this threat is definitely right over our area the enhanced risk means numerous severe storms are possible could see a few tornadoes uh, several reports of wind damage are expected and we could see uh, some hail as well 
Make sure that you know your geography. These storms will be coming from our southwest to the northeast. And so if you are in Shelby County, uh, counties to our southwest, DeSoto, Tunica, Southern Crittenden, St. Francis Lee, those counties would uh, likely be getting warnings first for storms that move into our area. So you need to be prepared and know your geography. <clears throat> cover just a few tornado safety tips uh, just in case you need to use these make sure you know where your safe place is that should be on the uh, interior room of the lowest floor if you do not have a storm shelter uh, or a basement which many of us do not um, avoid those large panes of glass and windows large span roofs high spans uh, when the tornado watch is issued if you are in a mobile home that is the time to go ahead and uh, phone a friend see if you can get to a place that is a little more sturdy than uh, a mobile home well before that warning is issued. Um, make sure that you are uh, protecting yourself and your kids. Have your shoes on, your photo ID, and your cell phone with you if you have to go to shelter. And remember the difference between a watch and a warning. A watch is the conditions are favorable. We're expecting that here uh, actually fairly shortly. Um, and warnings are issued when there is an imminent threat, and that means you need to take action and have multiple ways to be able to get those warnings. Uh, moving on then to the summary, scattered afternoon thunderstorms are expected. Those could produce some hail, strong wind, or a tornado, and evening storms have a higher chance of becoming severe. Damaging winds, possible tornadoes, or large hail, all all uh, possible with this evening storms. Uh, prepare your safe place now. Now is the time to do this. Make sure it's ready in case you need it. It may still be ready from the last two events. That's good. Garage your vehicles if able. We could have some uh, hail around the area uh, and have multiple ways of getting your warning information. We would highly recommend uh, that you make one of those, the memphisweather.net app. You can go to app.memphisweather.net and download that and then add the severe weather alerts to that app. You never know when you just might need it. And I will close out by knowing and expressing to you that we know that you are weary of preparing for storms. We've, this is the third time we've done this in the last 10 days. Um, in this particular case, it was uh, pr the previous ones. There were large geographical areas that were included. Um, and the storms did materialize. They just weren't here. Just know with this one, the biggest threat is in our area, not somewhere else. So you need to be prepared just in case. Uh, and don't worry, once we get through this one, we do have better weather on the way. After today, there's only one chance of uh, rain uh, that is coming next week, and it does not look like severe weather. So um, if, we can, uh, if we can get through this one together, we're going to be all right on the other side. So thanks for sticking with us. Make sure that you're following us on memphisweather.net on Twitter and Facebook, memphisweather1. Uh, our Facebook thread is live, and we'll provide regular updates. Find that pinned post. Just go to our Facebook page and look at the very top of the page, and all the comments will We'll give you the latest information. Everyone stay safe and I uh, hope you have a good rest of your weekend.